name. Let me tell you again the purpose of the series. Why we're talking about Allah's beautiful names. Why? Because we have to know Allah. It's not an option. Knowing Allah is not an option. It's like not doing Allah a favor. You're doing yourself a favor. When you get to know Allah, you get to love Him. And when you love Him, worshiping Him becomes easy. And when you worship Him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you happy in this life and in the hereafter. And happiness is what every single one seeks. Simply by knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hopefully you will reach this level. And now with Allah's name Al-Jabbar. Most of the people that hear the name Al-Jabbar think of force, constraints, enforcing things, punishment. That's what they think about Al-Jabbar. But did you know that Al-Jabbar is one of the sweetest and softest and most tender names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Full of love and compassion. How is that? I will tell you soon inshaAllah. But before I continue, we have a serious problem. Is that many of us did not live with Allah's names for a long time. And if we do go across them, we just skip them and we're absolutely clueless about them. Like, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ You go on and you have no idea what a samad is. How many years have you been reading that surah? How many years? How many rak'ahs? How many times did you read it? What's Allah as samad? Why is it a problem that I, why, why is it a problem that I do not know what as samad means? I'll tell you why. When you know that as-samad means what? Who knows by the way? Self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. The one that he doesn't need any one of you guys and all of you need him. If you believed Allah is a samad this will destroy anyone that comes and tell you Jesus is Lord. How is that? As-samad is a self-sufficient. He doesn't need food or drink or sleep or energy or family to, to work and do all things he wishes to do. He's self-sufficient. He doesn't need anything. The moment they tell you Jesus is Lord, you tell them, but Jesus ate and drank, right? Did he eat and drink? Yes. That means he's not a summit. That means he's not self-sufficient. That means he's not Lord. Best. From one name, you almost completed what? La ilaha illallah. One name. We didn't even continue yet. Similarly with the name Al-Jabbar. Again, to stress on the problem we have is that there are many brothers and sisters that whenever they're hurt, and many of us, probably every single one in this room at one point in their life went through some pain, broken heart. Why do you think people draw like the heart and they start breaking it and then the other half and they pull like an arrow, they stab it? Because many people go through that. The brothers are, they man up, they don't draw, draw it, but it's in their mind. We all have issues. No one says anything other than that. But the problem is that we seek other ways to make, to make ourselves feel better. And I will tell you examples. And these ways, by the way, make things even worse. Personal example that I know some people around me, they get bullied by people taller, stronger, bigger. And then, instead of them going back to Allah al-Jabbar, what they do is that whenever they go around some younger kid, they start what? Bullying them. See, you all know. They let it go. Bully them. Bully them. And they kick him. And then they start playing in their, you know, the brothers. You know, this is for the older brothers, right? High schoolers. See some smiles. And the other half is for the younger ones. So the bullies that get bullied here, they go there and they start kicking people and pushing them around. Thinking this makes them feel better. But if they knew Allah al-Jabbar, Allah will be a lot more beautiful than this. Some sister would be around, around her friends, you know, they trash talking and all that stuff. She's sick of them, she tries to complain to them about what's going on. They ignore her and some man comes by and says a nice word and she feels that he heals the pain which she has. So then she goes out of her house and starts hanging out with them. How many girls go through that? Because, oh, he recognized me. I'm not recognized by other people. Oh, he probably gonna, what? give me full comfort in my life. And wallahi, I know personally some examples that go through that for this reason. And another sister who went through some hardship and I buried her with my own hands, wallahi. And I prayed in her janazah. What happened is that her father was forcing her to get married. She doesn't want to. Force after force. She lived here. Then she moved to an eastern country where she does not even understand the language. 
Her father is bringing men to see her. This is my daughter. Would you want to marry her? And she's not, what's the problem? She doesn't even understand the language. Let alone, first of all, she doesn't want to get married. Let alone doesn't understand the language. What she did, she went to the bathroom, locked the door, got a razor, and she ripped her nerves. And then got so serious, and long story short, she committed suicide. Why suicide? Because she thought that this is a kind of relief. She did not know Allah Al-Jabbar. Wallahi, if she knew Allah Al-Jabbar, she probably would not even get anywhere close to this. Al-Jabbar. And I'm telling you, this is a true story. We, this is a serious problem. You guys agree now that we don't know Al-Jabbar. What's the concern? The concern is there's no solution that is as effective, as lasting, as living with Allah's name, Al-Jabbar, whenever you are in pain, or have any in, someone intimidating you, bullying you, oppressing you, whatever the word you wish, Al-Jabbar is the best solution and cure. One brother, another story, subhanAllah, almost, not almost, everyone is true I'm mentioning. Everyone is a real story. A brother comes up to me, sad, what's wrong? I was, I was smoking marijuana. Wallahi. I'm telling a brother that came to me and told me that I'm smoking marijuana. How old are you? I want to mention the age because I want you guys to start thinking who is it. Very young age. Marijuana. Do you know Allah Al-Jabbar? What? Al-Jabbar? No. Taib, you have to come here then. So this is a very, very, very important topic. Taib, brother, you didn't even explain what does Al-Jabbar mean. I know, I'm coming there. Al-Jabbar was mentioned one time in the Quran and many times in the Hadith, many times. Al-Jabbar, <coughs> Bismillah has the same root word as the word Al-Jabira. Brother, you did not explain the word. You added another Arabic word. I know, I know. Hold on. Al-Jabbar has the same root word as Al-Jabira. Al-Jabira means splint. You know when you have like a, an injured arm and you put like a splint? Not necessarily a cast. So it just puts the bones together if you have a fracture. This act is Jabr. The verb of Al-Jabbar, Jabr, it puts the bones together. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whenever you have a broken heart, in simple terms, He puts it together. He comforts you and He heals your pain. Mashi, look up this beautiful example. There are two kinds of breakings. Two kinds of breaking. Psychological and physical. The doctors, they work on the physical breakage. You got a fracture, they put the bones together. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whenever your heart is broken, you go through some pain, He puts it together for you. He makes you feel better. But wallahi, even the doctors are not the actual ones that heal your bones. It's Allah al-Jabbar. Even the bones. An example, Brother Mahmoud. Brother Mahmoud, in grade 8, he got into a severe car accident. It's a true story. Severe car accident to an extent that he was about to die. Some say, Alhamdulillah, he's still alive. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Allah's a blessing. Severe car accident. He's right here, just by the way, not backbiting. Yeah, he's right here. And I asked, I took his permission. Car accident that what broke his leg. All what the doctor had to do is get the cast and get the bones, put them beside each other. Put the cast and leave. Then what? That's it. What's the bone doctor called? Called Arthopedics. Arthopedics. That's all what he does. He comes, puts the bones, puts the cast, and salamu alaikum. That's it. Who puts the bones together? Al Jabbar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al Jabbar has created some cells for the bone to reform. These cells are very active. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make these cells active and active and active so you keep growing and growing and growing and growing and people stop at the age of 21 of growing. Then Allah tells these cells to stop growing and stop being active. Then when a fracture happens, like Brother Mahmoud, when they put the cast, Allah orders these cells to come back again and be active to reform the bones. Because if Allah did not stop the cells from growing and being active, you would be, end up like what? A giant. 
You become huge and huge and then your heart cannot control your body and you end up dying. So Allah let these cells what, relax, calm down, comfort the cells, help, stop. And then when you have a fracture, the cells go back again, put the bones back. And now I ask you a question, who put the bones back? Was it the doctor or Al-Jabbar? Al-Jabbar. So when you go to the doctor and he puts the cast, you know deep inside it's not you that do anything. You just put them together, that's all what you do. Al-Jabbar, if he does that to the bones, can't he do that to your hearts? Can't he do that to your emotions, to your feelings? What do you think? This name is dedicated for every sad person right here. In the past, in the present, or they would be sad in the future. This name is dedicated for every oppressed, bullied, intimidated person, in addition to every oppressor and bully. This name is dedicated for every person that was humiliated in class, in front of his friends, and in front of the teacher. When they fell from the, from the chair, and everybody started laughing at them. When they did their test and they got a bad mark, and they come, what do you get? What do you get? He's like, don't worry about it. He's like, what do you get? I said, you failed, he failed, he failed. And that broken heart which you get, I dedicate that name to you. That man or that sister that tried to pray in front of the people in school because there's no musalla, and the people start mocking her or mocking him for their praying. Allah, Al-Jabbar, I dedicate that name to you. I dedicate this name for everyone that was humiliated when they were innocent. For every mother that her husband passed away or she's divorced and people are talking trash about her. I dedicate this name for every sister that is a group of people start talking, talking rubbish about her. Start making comments on Facebook and so on. You need Al-Jabbar. That's the name for I dedicate for everyone who's in need. And I'm sure no one in this room does not need Allah's name. Al-Jabbar, absolutely no one, it's impossible. Because Allah called himself Ar-Razzaq, which implies, the provider, which implies that men and women need to be provided for. Allah called himself at tawwab the one that accepts repentance because Allah knows that man and woman will sin and they want to go back to Allah. Allah named himself Ar-Rahim because he knows each and every single one of us want mercy. And Allah called his name called himself Al-Jabbar because he knows at one point in time you will have so much pain and emotion distress in our life and agony and anxious and depression that's why Allah called himself Al-Jabbar Wallahi, Wallahi, Wallahi there is no one here that will go to Allah Al-Jabbar except that he will heal every issue and problem which you have what's my proof? simple, very simple, what's my proof? What's my proof that Allah, I, I'm like, look, I swear, and wallahi, you go to Allah al-Jabbar, whatever issue you have, whatever pain, He will heal it and He will put you in comfort and helps you. What's my proof? It's a very simple proof. And I told the answer so many times. How old are you? Ten. Ten years old. Because His name is al-Jabbar. Because He called Himself al-Jabbar. The one who comforts the people, the one who heals your pain, he called himself. So how could he call himself something which he does not apply? We believe Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, and we said this at the first talk. If Allah calls himself a name, we believe that it is his name, and we believe the meaning of the name, and we believe that this name can be put into action. Some sects do not believe in this. You gotta wake up. Some say Allah is as Samir. We agree. We believe that it means what? The all hearing. They say no. Because you cannot have the same attribute of Allah to a, to a human being. We believe no, He hears. And what's the application? Is that every conversation which you have, Allah as Samir hears it. So Allah called Himself Al Jabbar. This implies for sure that you will need Him. So you cannot ever say in your life, no, I will not need Him. That you will for sure, for sure need Him. I'll question. Your friends, brothers, and the sisters, may I have some brothers. Do you find their name to be Al Jabbar or Jabir? Jabir. Jabir. Khair. Jabir. What's the difference between Jabir and Jabbar? Jabir is the one that helps another person frequently, once, twice. For example, a brother called me today as I went to work, on my way to work. He said, Brother, do you have four empty spots in your car? Because I am at work, he works in the same place, and I dropped my car and I need a ride back. 
So can you please drive me and the people that were with me in the car back to Windsor? I said yes. So I can be called Jabir. He was anxious. He was worried. How am I going to cross the borders? I have no car. So me telling yes, I will do it. I healed his pain. صح? Allah Al-Jabbar inspired me to do that, of course. But Jabir. Can I be called Jabbar? No. Is that if he calls me right now, tells me, brother, pick me up. What will I tell him? No way, man. I got a, a gathering going, a halaqa. So Jabir can help every once in a while, but not always. Al-Jabbar always there. Jabbar, the same word as Ghaffar, as Khalaq, you see that Shadda, like the level of Fa'al, that's a very like extreme and excessive verb. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can be called Jabbar. Only Allah, Jazakallah khair. What else? There are three times and occasions where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al Jabbar, puts his name into action. Three times. And before I mention these three times, there is a huge issue.